Me, I'm the one. I'm linen. I'm linen. Do not the ride when I fall, get spun. Guarantee I'll leave my linen. I ain't got a sip of no rum. I'm linen. I'm linen. What's going on, people? It's me, Jay Fresh, right here, and I'm here with an artist who is responsible for shellers. Absolute shellers, man, like Heady One. What's happening, calm, fam? Cool and storm. It's yeah, good so. to see you. Just calm in the corner, but I have to say this, like, as a DJ, when we're doing the clubs, doing the festivals, without the ammunition, mm-hmm. we'd be nothing. So we have to pay homage to the producers, to the artists mm. who give us that ammunition. Come on. So I owe you percentages. <laughs> percentages of my booking fee right here, fam. Secretly. <laughs> it's, not, it's no secret. Your records are shutting down. I'm based on the south coast of the UK. Mm. They're doing a lot. Mm. University takeover. That's good to Snapchat hear, Snapchat takeover. It's proper. That's good to hear, Storm. It's good to hear, man. Mm. Now you're in a really good place at the moment. Mm. You're, you drop videos. Yeah. Millions. Multiple millions. Golden Boot, 2.1 million. Mm. And that was this morning. That's probably changed by now. I don't know. I ain't looked at it, ain't looked at it for a little so while. So the movements for you right now are crazy. How are you feeling out there? Is it all, are you absorbing it all, taking it all in? Or is it just, it's just so quick out there? It's quick still. It's just quick, I not Yeah, it's quick, man. It's just the same, same, same as it's always been still. But things are moving quickly. That's what I'm realising. Mm. And the, uh, the mixtape, mm. the one. 15 tracks it's doing the most out here at the moment mm-hmm. yeah I realised that when you speak to an artist about a project and you ask them to pick their favourite record it's like asking someone to pick their favourite kid you can't, <laughs> you can't do you that can't, you can't but I have to ask you are there any particular records on the project that stand out for you oh it depends on how I'm feeling still on the day so that, the answer to that question will always change mm. but um don't know. I think again, I like again still. Again's one of the the ones that I feel the most on it. Mm. That's the one that's resonating with you right now. Mm. Now, in terms of the mixtape, how long did it take you to kind of work that? From you know, writing studio, was it something that was turned around quickly? Was it a project that took a lot of time? Um, some of the writing was um, started from a little while ago, actually. Mm. But um, it it didn't. Mm, the timing went over a long, long period of time. Mm. But everything was kind of like I don't know. Everything was kind of all over the place, and it just was brought together. And nicely. It just came together nicely. Yeah. So when you're sat there and you're working out the final track listing, mm. you know how hard is it to condense from all the records to just the records that you include and things like running order. Is that like something that is like you give a lot of a lot of thought and energy towards? No, it wasn't. No, not really. Cause obviously, it's like a. It's, I feel like the mixtape is kind of like a story, isn't it? Mm. So that's how it was put together. Like obviously, the, when the writing was done and all of that, that was all done separate. But obviously, I only write based on my life experiences mm. and that. So yeah, so that's why it just I feel like the track listing just done itself. It just followed the natural yeah. kind of story mm. and the natural fluidity. I yeah. hear that. Now, are we in a situation now where with this UK music that we love, mm. there's sometimes restrictions on what we can and can't say. Yeah. You know, whether we're talking about experiences that we've lived through mm. or things that we've seen, mm. you know, as an artist, do you find that you really have free reign to write and say what you want? Can you really do that? Mm. Um, boy, that's that. I mean, each and everyone's um, discretion, isn't it? Me, mm. uh, f- for me, I wouldn't really go to certain extents. Mm. Obviously, for, for certain reasons in particular, but yeah, obviously, it is a it is, it is a tough thing to do, though, to be able to express yourself. Because mm. mm. we have a situation historically in this country where artists can have huge fan bases. Mm mad views and streams and numbers online but they're in a situation where maybe they can't do shows mm. and that's affecting the money yeah definitely, you know what i mean definitely. so it must be a tricky situation fam it but is, it is. for the mixtape itself do you have particular goals or objectives with that um no 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 particular goals or objectives it's just the mixtape. Uh, mm. i don't like to sit on things for too long yeah so obviously once the mixtape was done I just want it out so I can just mm. go about my business. And keep it moving. Yeah. And keep writing and keep cutting records. Yeah. What I've noticed going through uh, the mixtape 
is that there are some records there with real like melody and musicality. Mm. So for the trap, for that UK sound, that street sound, it's for me, I feel it's really important mm. that there's records and there's artists like yourself who have that element as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Is that something that you were conscious you really wanted to get across in some of those records? Um... Or were you just doing you? I just doing me. That's just you, fully authentic, yeah. just natural, letting it flow. Yeah, just letting it flow. <laughs> letting it flow out mm. there. Now, I need to talk to you, bro. What makes for a good Snapchat story? When you say story, what do you mean that? Well, like a snap or an IG story. Or what yeah. makes? What, what makes an interesting story or some interesting uploads? I don't know. I'm not good at the Snapchat thing, Star. Mm. I'm not really that good at it. Is that because you don't have the time or you're just thinking... No, I'm just not good at... These are elements of my life that I don't think people would find that interesting. Not really. I just don't think before I, I do my snaps and that. So something that probably someone else would take their time to yeah. go and make... Stage that. it all yeah, up. Yeah, I would, I would just miss the opportunity completely. And then I will just upload something. Shh, that's terrible. But sometimes that can make for the best snaps. Yeah, so it's this... It's, you win something. And then you, look, and you wake up and you look back at it and think, <laughs> rah, what was I drinking? What was I doing? And that makes for an interesting snap, do you know what yeah. I mean? yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're still at the start of 2018 mm. so we've got festival season around the corner mm. what bits and pieces are you looking forward to show rise or other records or potentially an album any other bitch you can let us know about there's some things that can happen potentially <laughs> and that's, that's the stock question and you're like <laughs> I'd love to tell you Jay Fresh but I'm just not <laughs> in a position where I can give you too much information yeah potentially some things can happen still mm. it's just you just gotta wait and see just got to wait and see, mm. see how it works out. Mm. How would you define success? Um, that's, uh, I would say, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, every individual know in themselves, there's mm. a point where they feel like they're being successful. Obviously, me making a judgment on someone else, mm. I don't or someone making else making a judgment or whatever. I'm, mm. I've done something successful. It's irrelevant. That's so for you, it's very much you look at what you're doing, yeah. where you're going. Mm. Go see and then you you judge that on your past situations and your goals mm. and all these kind of things. So yeah, it's all up to the individual themselves. But for me, that's that's a great answer. That's a very diplomatic answer. I love mm. that. But for me, like we're in a situation now like I touched on earlier, that now we're in a world where UK artists can get NME awards. Mm. They can sell out O2 tours. Mm. They can do festivals abroad. Mm. They can have number one records. They can have American artists hollering them to feature on their records because they're hot. So mm. I find that super exciting, sitting down with someone like you and where you're at with your career, that really, like, the maddest things are achievable. Mm. and they are achievable and like you're calm I'm super gassed for you because I'm that excitable guy but I think time's never been so good to be in this UK thing as a producer as an artist yeah I agree still yeah. like, everyone's trying to think and there's a lot of big things are happening mm. people are going far really far mm. um, this is the first time we've sat down and, and chopped it up so I'd like to know a little bit more about like your musical heritage and influences mm. now I know French Montana mm. and Future uh, are two of the dons out there. <laughs> so yeah. what, what is it about those guys that kind of made you like, you know what, I resonate and connect with these guys. These guys are influencing me in a good way. Um, when, I, when, I grew, when I was growing up, when I was a bit younger, I used to listen to um, Max B, mm. French Montana. The whole Coke Boys. Yeah, like, that, that, along that side of things, a bit of Styles P. And then obviously as I grew up a bit, then I start listening to a few people that do that. Mm. Melodies and that. Obviously, even along with the drum music, and obviously all the music that I like. Yeah, that's 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 supposed to be my influence. I just pull it all into one ball. All blends together. Yeah. And then you do your thing, and yeah. this is what we come out with. Yeah. I mean, for me, as a UK guy, I find it exciting that I can go to clubs and festivals, and I can play an hour, mm. easy of UK music, mm. easy, and it shells it down. And yeah. there wasn't a time that that was always the case. The yeah. case. So for you, had there been a situation where you've seen someone's Snapchat or Instagram video, or you've seen someone play one of your tunes mm. at a certain stage, yeah. and you've seen the reaction, and you've sat there and been like, "Rah, this is mad." Mm. Have you had anything like that? Have they had those snaps or, or yeah, WhatsApps yeah, yeah, yeah. pop up, and you're like, "I'm doing alright here." 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's mad. I get, I get those videos quite a lot actually. Still, mm. can't even lie. Like, my phone's filled, filled up with them. Like when people like go out, or whatever, when at their performances, or even not when I'm performing, they're just playing the songs and mm. that. It's an, it has a big impact still. Mm. So that's when I realized that yeah, everything's just like when I see stuff like that, it's just more motivation in it. Mm. More motivation to keep mm. writing, yeah. keep putting keep out going. records. Mm. I mean, I love that ambition. I love the drive that you've got. You've got this like steely confidence that you're going to keep pushing, mm. keep moving it forward, man. And like for me, when I can go to towns and seas around the country that I might not think know about drill, like mm. really, and I can play records like you've made mm. and shell it. That's an exciting thing for me, man. Mm. We need to get you these shows. We need mm. to get you in these clubs around the UK, fam. Come on. We need to make it happen. Definitely. As long as the money's right, as long as the rider's right for you, you're mm. going to be there, you're going to get the job done. Yeah, time in store. It's definitely time in. Wicked. Well, listen, thanks a lot for your time today, bro. Good luck with the mixtape. Mm. And I'm just looking forward for more material, more ammunition for me to play <laughs> in the clubs, G. Real soon, you'll be, I'll have you that soon still. Just definitely later on in the year. And to make something happen. Sick, sick, wicked.